So if you can see my screen today, like no. Yep. Yep. So today I'll be talking about Merlin framework. Uh, like as I mentioned in my introduction, I'm working with uh, Salsa since six. I I got introduced to this framework for migration, which which is called Merlin. So today I'm going to explain. I'm going to give few pointers about what exactly this uh, tool does and how how you can utilize this during your migrations. So what exactly is Merlin? So Merlin is a tool that helps us migrate content from a website into a structured data. So basically, any source of any source website you can migrate and what you get as an output is structured data data this data then can be migrated into like drupal or any other system so overall it simplifies the process of migration and yeah hello can you hear me yes yes can we can me? yes okay yes so irrespective of the source of the migration, we can extract data from the source and we get structured data as an output. That is the JSON, JSON files. We extract structured data into JSON files, which can then be used by other systems for, during migration. Let me uh, talk about the details, what exactly it does and how it, how it works. So Merlin does three things. First thing is it helps us identify all the public URLs that need to be migrated. So for example, if you have a website that needs to be migrated, first step would be identifying all the public URLs and uh, which are the URLs that you want to migrate to the target system. Second thing it does is it loops through each of the URLs to extract or scrape content from the source. And then finally, it gives you the extracted data into JSON format. This JSON can then be used during your import. Like you can import those JSON into Drupal or any other system. So first step, let's see how, what, what is the first step? So you are, uh, Merlin comes with a URL crawler that helps us like, generate an extensive list of all the uh, public URLs. Uh, once you have the public URLs, you also have an option to group those URLs based on um, multiple types. That is either you can group those URLs based on type, you can group based on existing DOM elements, or you can based on certain value of a group of an element. And I'm, I'm gonna talk about this in detail. So just to put it in context, Imagine you have a website that needs to be extracted. You will be able to extract all the list of uh, public URLs and segregate them based on the target system, like target content types maybe. So yeah, starting point, you, you have all the URL list segregated based on the content types. Let's see how, how exactly we do that. Uh, the Merlin framework uses config.yml files. Here you can define which is your source domain. You can also define, there are plenty of options uh, to provide delay, to pro provide what is the concurrency, maximum number of requests that you can, you want to crawl. You can also provide a start URL and you can also provide a delay so that you won't have like you won't burden your source system. At the end, we have group by which, which can be used to segregate the URLs. So this is a typical config YAML file. Let us see group by condition, like how, how we can use grouping. So while extracting the URLs, you can, you, as I mentioned, we can group those URLs together based on the target system. So for example, what we can do is, 
we can have a group by condition based on uh, URL patterns. So that uh, say some pattern needs to be grouped together. So you can do that. You, secondly, you can use, uh, you can check whether an, if an element is present, group those URLs together. And the third one is if a cert, if a particular data type, if a, if a particular uh, element, you, if you want to match a property, that also you can do. And based on this, URLs will be grouped together. So these are the three types of groupings that are currently present. So this is how we run a basic um, crawl command. We provide config.yaml to the crawl script and, and you define where exactly the output is going to be. Once you run this command, you, you, you will get, you'll, you, you'll get list of all the URLs and you'll also get the files will be generated based on those. So this is about crawl. This is the first step of migration that we typically follow. Once we have, once we have a list of extensive, like list of all the URLs in the system that we need to migrate. And once we have finalized what all URLs we need to migrate, we, we start with generate. Generate command basically, pro, what it does is it scrapes the pages that the URLs that we have provided, it scrapes all the content uh, based on the mappings that we have provided in the config file. So, so if we have a page, if we want to extract some data out of it, we can do that using the config and defining that in the config and, and, and using the generate command. I'm going to explain how this is done. Perlin provides um, a lot of type inbuilt types, which we can use. There's a doc over here. Merlin provides, a, Merlin has a documentation which provides all the predefined, predefined types. For example, if we have an accordion on the source page, which we need to extract, this is how you do, do it. If we have some media, and if you want to extract file name, alt, et cetera, so we can do that. So these are all the predefined types which help us during the migration. And there are also preprocessors. For example, white space removal. If this are, these are basically to do some operations on the extracted content. For example, string replace. While extracting only, you can do replacement and few other things. So this is um, about generate. I'm going to, yeah. So for example, let's see a mapping. If we have a, if we have a H1 tag and we want to extract this H1 tag basically from all the pages, how do we do that? We add a mapping field title. This type is defined here. So type is text. We define the field name and selector based on the H1 tag. And this will extract the data. Let me show you an example of how, how this can be done. Let me give you a demo. So I have, I have a generator comma script, a generator YAML script. I have, uh, I'll extract some data from Salsa digital website. Let, let me show you this website first. And um, I'm going to target only two, uh, two elements at this moment. First is the title tag. And let me extract this description. In order to do that, I have created a YAML file, uh, defined a domain as Salsa Digital. I have provided a list of URLs in this at this path. Here it is. So I'm going to extract only five content at the moment. Few other configurations, which include uh, what is going to be concur concurrency delay. I've kept it like as standard as of now. So the two main things that we need to look at is mapping. So uh, the mapping contains two fields. First one is title and second one is summary. 
So first one, I have used a selector here that we, that is going to extract H1 text, H1 tag. And secondly, I've used a long text, which will extract the he, hero banner description, which is here. So let me run this and show you. I have provided the config file as an input and I have provided reports folder. So this is how I run it. It would let me, it would tell me what, what are the, what are the URLs it has passed and it will tell me uh, where the file has been uh, generated. So it has generated a JSON file for me. Now if I go back to the reports folder, I have the article or JSON file. It has extracted a uh, title and also the summary for me. Similarly, you can do it for a lot of content types which are defined, um, including complex content types like um, say, like say a med media or an accordion or a paragraph, ordered list and menu as well. You can also extract menu here. So yeah, so once once we have this extracted JSON, let me show you. So this is the JSON that I have. I can then proceed with the migration. I, with, I created a migration already, um, a Drupal migration for a, a Drupal JSON migration, which has article.json as my in, in, input. I have title and the summary as the input and I have processed, uh, I have processed plugin for, to import it into title and body. So, yes. So let's migrate. So I have created this importer already. Let's import the content and yes, we have this content imported. So mostly about uh, Merlin framework. Benefits of using this framework is you, you don't have to uh, get access to the, the source system. Irrespective of the source system, it, it might be any source you can, you can migrate and yeah, it simplifies the migration overall. So this is, this was my presentation for Merlin framework. Any questions? I don't see any questions. Um... Uh, one question from my side about the like uh, this is the one use case that I can see it is applicable on a public website only. Like, is there any way that we can use for internal sites or internal application? So when you say internal, do you mean which are hidden by some login, etc.? Yeah, something like that. It's... Yeah. Uh, if it is hidden by just basic shield, then yes, of course, we can provide yeah, the URL yeah. within that. But I yeah, that, no... that is uh, that that I can understand that basic authentication yeah. is a different thing. But in terms of a, like internet side, that is only accessible internally or maybe if like how exactly that might be the other use case that we can do with the model. Mm. Not yet, but it is an excellent feature that can be added. Merlin is open source. Um, I will put in the link to Merlin uh, documentation as well as the Merlin GitHub repository for anybody to have a look at it and have a play with it if, if they want to. Hi, MJ. Uh, I see that you have your hand raised. Uh, yeah, thank you. I do. Um, I have a very selfish question. Um, um, and I'm sorry, I, I came in late to the session, so I'm, I may have missed the the, the answer. Um, sorry, hold on. Um, 
Oh, sorry, Max. Can, can Max go first? All right, sure, thanks. I can. Um, I was wondering if uh, it's also able to bring across um, assets that are attached to the pages being scraped, as in like PDFs, images, that type of stuff. It can bring in the URLs of the assets, not really. So the Merlin, the aim, aim of Merlin is to get the content in a JSON, in a structured format. So when we are doing media migration, for example, it can bring in the URLs and then Drupal Migrate API can be used to actually bring on, bring those URLs into Drupal. Cool. Andrea, are you there now? Can you talk now? Oh, it's okay, it's, it's answered my question, thank you. All righty, cool. I have put in the link for um, the Merlin documentation as well as GitHub for Merlin. Uh, Merlin is an open source tool. Please feel free to create issues, et cetera, if you want to. If you have, if you see something that you want to get at it, please go ahead and create a pull request. And yeah, we can go ahead and look at that. Thanks a lot for your um, presentation, Amit. I'll just stop recording now.